morning children have a great day today we are here to learn reasoning and know your aptitude in this already we have learnt about patterns number patterns and alphabet patterns now we are going to learn patterns in patterns lesson today we are going to learn figure patterns in that missing figure and symmetry now let's see what is missing figure to find the missing figure in the given patterns you need to identify the rules followed in the rest of the given figures what we have to do the pattern will be given we have to observe the figure and what is missing we have to find out then you have to write the correct option then you find the pattern of change and choose the option that is missing so that is missing pattern so this is a pattern now we will be seeing the question and answer children now let's see the question we have learnt about missing figure what is missing figure then line of symmetry now let's see the question find out the figure which completes the given pattern now see the pattern now we have to find out the missing figure so if you draw you will be getting the answer so now this line where it is matches where let's see the figure so a is wrong b is wrong c also wrong so d is the correct answer next one hexagon hexagon let's see the missing figure is here so let's connect the line so this is the pattern now let's see which pattern matches so here exactly c is the correct one it's very easy children observe the picture then you have to draw, write the answer then 13 14 15 is a homework for you now let's see 16 observe the figure already i have drawn and kept the line now let's shade so we shaded now find out which is the correct option so this is not this is wrong this is also wrong this is also wrong so d is the correct answer if you see one two three it is grossly shaded and here in the corner so it is correct answer next one 17 17 draw the petals flap petal then we have to find out the answer here uh, yellow is there so white we have we, we need white petal is there yellow should be needed then here dot will be down so let's find out the answer so c is the correct one is it clear children 18 is the homework for you. this number machine use the same rule each time to find the output numbers shown here if n is the input number so here n only input number which rule could the machine have used to find each output number so yeah input is 5 then output is 9 so you have to find out whether it is addition or subtraction or uh, multiplication or division so if you add and see you will be getting the answer i think 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 so you got it 9 output then 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 so you got output 10 7 plus 4 is equal to 11 so you got 11 so the answer is n plus 4 so this is the correct answer is it clear children so n is the input number they are asking how we could find out the machine have used to find each output number so we have to add next question which number replaces the question mark here if you add horizontally vertically you will be getting same number 9 plus 1 10 10 plus 5 15 if you add like this 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 7 15 then a 4 plus 8 12 12 plus 3 15 now we have to find out the missing number 7 plus 2 9 9 plus 6 15 so 6 is the answer is it clear children next one 21 is the homework for you now let's see what is symmetry symmetry is the state of having two arcs that match other exactly in size shape etc the figure it is divided by 2 means it should match equally 
it should be divided into two halves that is line of symmetry now let's see the example apple butterfly heart ladybird so if you see the divided into two parts is exactly divided so this is line of symmetry then here also arrow flower house and aeroplane this is also exactly divided into two parts is it clear children this is line of symmetry what is rotational symmetry however you rotate the shape will be same exactly same you see this picture if you rotate 1 by 4 turn it looks the same then 1 1 by 2 turn it looks the same then 3 by 4 also it looks the same so this is rotational symmetry now let's see the example for this we will see the next part of the question so this is about lines of symmetry already we have learned what is line of symmetry so when we draw the line and the shape it should match equally okay so that is the lines of symmetry now the question let's see the question which of the figures below has the lines of symmetry drawn correctly so this is not correct this is also not correct this is the correct one and this is also not correct so c is the answer next one 24 23 is the homework for you 24 what is the order of symmetry in the figure given below so first we have to observe if we draw one two one lines of symmetry or it is two lines of symmetry or it is three lines of symmetry or infinite so actually the circle is infinite because we can draw anywhere so it can be drawn anywhere like this so it is infinite okay children this is infinite so 25 is the homework for you 26 27 is the homework for you is it clear children children i hope that you understood the lesson thank you